boys and girls how are you all doing i hope you've had a very beautiful week and i hope your families your friends and your loved ones are all doing very well well we have lots of activities for you today okay so we're going to start with the worship as you always you know um, enjoy that worship we are going to then go to memory verse we're going to have a quiz we're going to have a story time and we're going to have a lesson and remember boys and girls that you have homework to do and these homeworks are just there to help you you know to remember everything you've learned and you know then you know once you answer those questions you will never forget them so boys and girls I'm so excited and you know what I will see you at the lesson you know so see you very soon boys and girls God bless you Today is another awesome day in God's presence and today we are going to be singing about the greatness of God. Do you know we serve a God who is so big, he sits in the heavens and the earth is his footstool. Guess what? He holds every one of us in his hands. Let's go. Hey, put your hands together. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole in his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, together, let's go. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. Put your hands together as we sing it. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. I feel like dancing. Come on, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Just enjoy the music. brothers and your sisters in his hands he's got your uncles and your aunties in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got everybody in his hands he's got you and me in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole Oh 
think I'm dancing better than you are. Let's go. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Let all see how great, how great is our God. I'm sure you know it. Let's go. How great is our God. Sing with me, sing with me. How great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. We'll do it two more times. Now we have the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. One day, Jesus went to visit his friends, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Martha was busy getting the meal ready while Mary sat listening to Jesus talk. Before long, Martha became angry and complained to Jesus. Lord, don't you care that Mary left me to do all the work alone? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, you were so worried and upset. There's only one important thing here. Mary has chosen the right thing, and it will never be taken away from her. Another time, as Jesus was traveling, he came to a small town where ten men saw him. They didn't come close to Jesus because they had the horrible skin disease, leprosy. So they called out to him. Jesus, Jesus Lord, Lord. Master, please help us. Jesus wasn't afraid to be close to the men. Go. Go on. Go show yourselves to the priests. As the men went to do what Jesus had told them, their leprosy disappeared. One of the men turned and came back to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise be to God. On your way now. You were healed because you believed me. Welcome back, boys and girls. Didn't I tell you that we have a lovely lesson today? You can see that we have two lessons packaged in one. Two lessons, yes. Remember, the first story was the story of um, Mary and Martha with Jesus visiting them. And what I pick from this story 
you know, Jesus was in a house visiting his friends who were Mary, Martha, you know, I mean, of course, you know, their bro brother was Lazarus. But in this particular occasion, the Bible did not record that Lazarus was in the house. But what was told to us was that Mary and Martha were, you know, were there with our Lord Jesus Christ. And you know what? Mary, I mean, uh, paid attention and was listening to Jesus. What did Martha do? Martha was trying to entertain Jesus, running around, you know, cooking and, you know, just trying to impress this person that have come to visit them, you know. But thank God that, you know, Jesus himself called Martha and said, you know, I mean, after, of course, she complained that the sister was not helping. I'm sure you can relate to this because you have brothers and sisters at home, you know, where that you have one argument or the other with every now and then. But you see, Jesus set this, you know, set uh, something straight here and said to Martha, look, all those things you're trying to do, what I'm going to share with you is much more better. And you know that you have God in the house means that you drop everything else. Don't try to give God, you know, something because he, he is the one that created everything. And these boys and girls, I'm just, this to you is saying something that when you are in the house of God or when you are in a place of learning, even right now, as you, as we're sharing, you know, in this particular um, uh, lesson, or in this particular online uh, church, you know, the most important thing is that you listen to those words that are coming from your teachers and the word of God that is being read out, you know, in, in, the, in, in the Bible, because that is the best thing that we have, you know, in, in best investment that we can, you know, uh, invest in ourselves, in our heart, in our mind, in our soul, that brings out the best in us. So Jesus, you know, corrected Martha straight away. And the second lesson was this lesson uh, was the leopard, you know, this leopard, these people that were, you know, sick, that have skin diseases, you know, lep uh, that is called leprosy, you know, at that time, there was no cure to them. And, you know, those people actually could not say, stay in the city. So they heard that Jesus was in town and they started screaming and shouting because they know that God was in town. And you know when God is in town, what happens? Healing takes place. Deliverance takes place. The dead comes alive. A whole lot of things happen. And this is, you know, what happened in our lives too. When Jesus comes to our life, our life changes. We are never the same, you know. So these ten lepers, they were all healed because Jesus was always willing to heal and to deliver. But what happened, you know, after they were healed? The Bible records that only one came back to say thank you. So boys and girls, this is also telling you something. That you must appreciate everything God does for you. And you know what? God works in the, you know, he, he does things for you through people, through your parents, through your teachers, through your friends. So always, boys and girls, remember to say thank you to everyone that has been a, a, a help. I mean, that has been. Uh, being a help to you in any way or form. God bless you, boys and girls. I hope you've been blessed and I'll see you very, very soon. Hello, friends. How are you doing? So you know what time it is? Yeah, it's that time you've been waiting for. It's quiz time. So let's get straight right into it. First question, according to Luke chapter 17, verse 11, Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem when he encountered 10 lepers. In what region was he at the time? A. On the outskirts of Bethlehem. B. Along the Mediterranean Sea. C. The border between Samaria and Galilee. D. Just outside Jericho. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C, the border between Samaria and Galilee. Next question. According to Luke chapter 17, verse 12, where was Jesus when he saw the man with leprosy? A. As he was about to retire for the night at an inn. B. 
on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. See, as he was paying money at the tax collector's booth, D, as he was going into a village. And if you answer D, then you are correct. The answer is D, as he was going into a village. Next question. Scripture reports the lepers stood at a distance and according to Luke chapter 17 verse 13, they called out in a loud voice, what did they say? What did they say? A. Please give us some money to buy food. B. Heal us like you healed the other lepers. C. Jesus, master, have pity on us. D. Heal us like how you healed blind Bartimaeus. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C. The lepers cried in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Next question. Number four. According to Luke chapter 17, verse 14, what did Jesus say to the lepers when they called out to him? What did Jesus say to the lepers when they called out to him? A. If you have not sinned, you would have not been afflicted with leprosy. B. Repent of your sins and be baptized. C. Go show yourselves to the priest. D. Come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C. Go show yourselves to the priest. Next question, number five. Scripture reports that after the lepers were healed, one of them came back to give thanks to Jesus. When he came back to Jesus, what was the man doing? A. Screaming and dancing wildly about it. B. Praising God in a loud voice. C. Crawling on his hands and knees. D. Hanging his head in shame for he was a sinner. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B, he was praising God with a loud voice. Next question number six. Luke chapter 17 verse 16 states, The man healed of leprosy threw himself at Jesus' faith and thanked him. What was different about the man from the other lepers? A. He was bald. B. He was a Samaritan. C. He was naked. D. He had only one arm. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B. He was a Samaritan. Next question, number seven. When the one leper came to thank Jesus, what did Christ say? When the one leper came to thank Jesus, what did Christ say? A. It's good at least one came back to give thanks. B. Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the nine others? C. With only one returning to give thanks, it shows how ungrateful people are. D. Because of their ungratefulness, the leprosy will return to the other nine. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B. Jesus said to them, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Number eight. In Luke chapter 17 verse 18, Jesus makes another statement. What did he say? A. You are extremely fortunate at came across you today. B. Son, you have been healed. Now stop sinning and live for God. C. Was, one, was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? D. Please tell the other nine that they are truly ungrateful.
And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C. Jesus said to him, Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And the last question, number nine, according to Luke chapter 17, verse 19, what does Jesus tell the man that has made him well? According to Luke chapter 17, verse 19, what does Jesus tell the man that has made him well? A. His good works in the past. B. His faith. C. His friendship with the other lepers. D. His optimistic view on life. And if you answered C, you are correct. Jesus told the man his faith has made him well. And those are all the questions we have for you today on the quiz, quiz time. Make sure you have a week, nice weekend. Have a nice day. Bye.